latest British tech revealed for their new fighter jet. Aircraft historians and military enthusiasts might recognize the name of the new fighter jet from the famous British World War II fighter aircraft, the Hawker Tempest. Developed in 1942, the Hawker Tempest was designed to be able to fly safely at much higher altitudes than its predecessor, the Hawker Typhoon. By the time it entered active service in 1944, it was the fastest single-engine propeller-driven aircraft of the war at low altitude. The Hawker Tempest was used extensively throughout World War II. While primarily as a low-altitude aircraft interceptor, the famed fighter also became adept at ground attacks. It played a crucial role in destroying German rail infrastructure and grounded Luftwaffe aircraft. While the British Royal Air Force continued to bring out further variants and upgrades to the Tempest, none of them entered service until after the end of World War II. This included the Tempest Mark I through V, all of which contained a slightly different engine, radiator, or fuselage designs. At the same time, a parallel project on an earlier single-seat fighter named the Tornado was retired and designers would transfer the Tornado's Bristol Centaurus 18-cylinder radial engine to the Tempest, removing the traditional liquid-cooled engines. This hybrid project would be named the Tempest II, and commercial production would begin. Eventually, the Tempest II would be renamed the Tempest VI, and a total of 142 were built. By the time the aircraft was retired, the Tempest VI held the distinction of being the last piston-engined fighter in operational service with the British Royal Air Force the rest of the fleet having been superseded by jet-propelled aircraft. While some of these aircraft still exist either in museums or private collections, the British Royal Air Force reportedly had no interest in reviving the iconic aircraft. That is, until recently. The Tempest Combat Concept Currently, this Tempest jet fighter is only a concept, designed to be a sixth-generation jet fighter, with every bit of advanced technology under the sun. Proposed in 2018 by the British Defense Secretary Gavin Williamson, the Tempest is being designed to be a part of the future combat air strategy, attempting to give the UK a major air advantage and superiority throughout Europe. When the concept for the Tempest was announced, the British government only pledged £2 billion towards the program up until 2025. After this point, more funding will be provided if needed. We say only £2 billion, because although the government did commit to the £2 billion of funding, there is uncertainty if they will be able to afford the program, considering the financial debt they will face after COVID-19. In 2019, it was announced that Britain and Sweden would join forces and signed a memorandum. The memorandum stated the two nations would work together on a joint combat air development and acquisition program. This program will be responsible for creating the Tempest and a range of other future aviation tech programs. Later the same year, Italy too joined the program, with all the participating companies signing a statement of intent. Last year, the British Royal Air Force announced several massive tech and automotive partners would be assisting with the development, design, and manufacture of the future fighter. This included Rolls-Royce, BAE Systems, Leonardo SPA, and MBDA. But in an interesting update, the UK Defence Secretary announced in 2020 that seven new companies GE UK, GKN, Collins Aerospace, Martin Baker, Kinetic, Bombardier, and Thales UK would join the conglomerate to work on the brand new 6th gen fighter jet. These companies, with more reportedly being announced shortly, are tasked with designing and developing more than 60 never seen before technology prototypes and demonstration activities. From these 60 plus prototypes, the best will be chosen and manufactured and incorporated into the Tempest combat. The Tempest is planned to be introduced to the world in 2035, although with the amount of advanced technology needed to make the sixth generation fighter jet, that number could easily be pushed back. It is set to be in active service up until 2080, so this jet fighter is being designed to combat any new aircraft built over the next few decades. The Tempest isn't going to be cheap to manufacture. To date, the budget for this futuristic jet fighter is £2 billion, but only up until 2025. After 2025, the British government will provide more funding if needed, but military treasury experts predict the total development cost to easily exceed £25 billion 
or 32.5 billion US dollars by the time the first completed prototypes are developed. Considering the total defense budget for air combat over the next decade is only 18 billion euros, it's unclear exactly what will happen in the future. Another unknown will be how much each individual Tempest will cost once the design and engineering is completed. However, several analysts have reported that if monetary issues do present down the line, the Tempest would likely become much more affordable as a stealth unmanned combat air vehicle, or UCAV for short. In fact, several experts are already debating whether even the United States should choose to go that route for its next generation fighter. Removing a pilot achieves major weight savings as cockpit, ejection, and life support systems can be trimmed away. Less tech means less cost at the end of the day. And unlike manned aircraft, almost all drones can stay available for long-term multi-shift missions. This is because pilots can do all of their training in simulators, and units don't need to be rotated out of the line to rest and recover. That would mean both that a smaller number of UCAVs would need to be built than equivalent jet fighters, and fewer personnel would be required to maintain them. That, and the removal of risk of human life, the benefits keep piling up. Adding to the feeling they may go unmanned is the fact that the UK has already developed the Tyrannus Stealth UCAV prototype, showing it already has a knowledge base with such technology. So far, the production of the Tempest has created jobs for 1,800 people, and it is projected to create another 700 jobs by 2021. This is great for the economy and will increase the production of the Tempest significantly. It is unsure how many Tempest jet fighters will be produced, but the Tempest is set to replace 145 Eurofighter Typhoon jet fighters and provide future redundancy, so we could see anywhere from 150 to 300 built over its production and service lifespan. Recently, BAE Systems, the company in charge of manufacturing the Tempest, told all of its UK suppliers to speed up the production of parts by 30%. BAE Systems' plan is to cut the costs and production time to produce commercial-grade aircraft parts. BAE Systems' plan is to cut the costs and production time to produce commercial-grade aircraft parts. This is no easy task, but they have a trick up their sleeve. BAE Systems plans to use additive manufacturing, or 3D printing, in order to cut the production times in half. BAE Systems are already market leaders in 3D printing tech, developing molds, CAD designs, and mass-produced components for machine and transport repairs. Given the task of producing a large part of the rear fuselage of the Tempest, BAE Systems were given two years to complete the task. Using their streamlined additive manufacturing, their contribution to the project was completed in just two months. Design While still a concept, various design elements and structural components of the Tempest have already been subjected to a bevy of rigorous testing and challenges in order to make sure it will be the best fighter jet in the world. BAE Systems has said that the conceptual shapes for the aircraft have been virtually designed and tested, with high-performance computers able to calculate the aerodynamic performance of different aircraft features and test pilots taking Tempest to the skies from a ground-based simulator. By taking an entirely digital approach, the team at BAE can achieve what traditionally would have taken a number of months in a number of days. Subsequently, scale models were produced by 3D printing and evaluated in the wind tunnel facilities at Wharton, Lancashire to physically test the aerodynamic properties of the design under harsh wind speeds of more than twice the speed of sound. These tests also demonstrated some of the key features of the Tempest, such as the aircraft's so-called flexible payload bay on the underside of the fuselage to accommodate S-shaped ducting between its twin-engine inlets that reduces its frontal radar cross-section. Shrouded exhausts will also help to reduce thermal detection from underneath the jet. Essentially, its shape and design features lend to a high level of stealth, one that would be virtually invisible to enemy radar and infrared. The wind tunnel tests will also help the manufacturer to create a draft of the Tempest, which will be evaluated by the British Ministry of Defense by the end of this year. Technology The Tempest is set to be in active service until 2080, so the RAF want it to have technology that will last until then. If completed with all its ambitious design features implemented, the Tempest will be one of the most technologically advanced jet fighters we have ever seen, like something out of a futuristic movie. Designed as a stealth fighter, it will carry a range of weapons, some of which exist, but many of which are still in the realm of science fiction. These include hypersonic missiles, controlled drone swarms, and laser weapons. 
The Tempest will also produce large amounts of electricity too, so it can charge up the laser weapons and provide additional propulsion. The twin-engine Tempest features a delta wing configurable with artificial intelligence and cyber-hardened communications, meaning the Tempest can act as a flying command and control center. What this means for pilots is they will act more as an overseer rather than a dogfighter. Equipped with advanced cooperative engagement capabilities, the Tempest has the ability to send sensor data and messages to coordinate attack or defense strategies with either ground forces or other aircraft in the vicinity, allowing the Tempest to double as an overseer and command relay. This will give the RAF a major strategic advantage on the battlefield. 2035's Tempest will also be fitted with an adaptive cycle engine, giving this sixth-gen fighter the ability to operate under any flight conditions. The Tempest will also have a virtual cockpit, which will be shown on the pilot's helmet-mounted display. This HUD will integrate with all the Tempest's systems, giving accurate and real-time data straight to the pilot. The RAF and BAE systems has really hyped up the Tempest, the technology, and the capabilities of this fighter jet. For now, it still feels a little like it belongs in the realm of science fiction, but if the Tempest is anything like what the RAF have teased, this jet fighter will certainly be unstoppable. 2035 does seem like an eternity away, but 15 years is nothing in terms of next-gen technology development. All we can do now is wait and see what comes out of the exciting Tempest project. Will the Tempest be the best jet fighter in the world? Do you think the Tempest will be completed by 2035, or will it take a lot longer? Let us know all your thoughts in the comments below.